And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, tomorrow's a windy day. Look at those gusts, 32 to 43 in the afternoon. And after a sunny start, we see some increasing clouds as a cold front will be approaching towards evening. But we'll take 64 for a high, but that wind will be hard to kind of walk in. A good day to fly a kite in the afternoon, maybe with the kids. 63 at Flora, 63 at Delphi, but 65 at Williamsport and Attica. We'll get up to about 66 at Vetersburg and even up to the north, Winnemac up to 62. Sunday gets colder though. We are mostly sunny early with lows in the 30s and then kind of partly cloudy in the afternoon. Still a lot of wind. These gusts from the northwest 30 to 38, 48 for the high temperature, but only around 44 up to the north, like up around Morocco and Brook and Mount Air. 48 at Attica, 48 down towards Tab and Stewart, about 49 at Linden and 47 at Flora. There is future cast again. Uh, kind of a mostly clear sky tonight. The winds turning to the southwest and there are the strong southwest winds tomorrow, gradually turning a little more westerly. And here comes the cold front tomorrow night. The thought right now is there won't be enough moisture to produce anything in the way of showers. We'll keep an eye on this and see if a few end up popping or see if the, the data agrees a little bit more. But at least at this point, I'm going dry for Saturday evening, Saturday night as the front goes through and then all the sunshine early Sunday and then watch the clouds develop and move southward into Sunday afternoon and still some cloudiness even into Sunday night and Monday. And yes, on Monday, quite a bit of clouds around and a few snow showers, mainly in our northeastern counties. Then beyond that, as quickly as we get cold on Monday, highs only in the 30s to about 40, uh, the wind goes right back to the southwest. Look at the timestamp here, 11 p.m. on Monday night. The winds are right back out of the southwest, so the, that is very good news for us. It prevents us from having a really damaging freeze because if we couldn't get the wind back out of the southwest, we could easily get down to 20 or 22 um, on Monday night or early Tuesday morning, but I think the temperature will level off generally in the upper 20s and then even rise a hair because the wind will be blowing back from the southwest and we're headed back to the 50s on Tuesday, 50s and 60s Wednesday and right into Thursday. Some rain comes in Thursday, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder. Any severe weather risk would be down in this pocket right here and nowhere near us. But then we watch this system after it gets colder behind this one and we get a couple flakes next Saturday. That one could bring a little severe weather risk back into our area around the 25th of March. I'm going to have a huge blog post on all this later on this evening on Chad's blog on our website. Um, and we're going to go through the next several months uh, on kind of how things are evolving. 40 Monday, there's that 27 on Tuesday morning, 53 on Tuesday, pushing 60 Wednesday, 64 Thursday, some showers developing. Ah, it starts to get cold on Friday. 47 then falling, a few late day flakes, a few flakes next Saturday. I have only around 40. That's a freeze I've got my eye on. That could get us down to about 24, 25. And then it warms back up, pushing 70 even with some storms by next Monday. 